if people in some of the places have a certain kind of a certain kind of uh, system means uh, uh, means how we see this is the map of india and here the red colored portion is the mizoram state mizoram okay northeastern state and its capital is aizawl okay now here in mizoram they have a very unique system of farming generally see in other parts of the state in india what the farmers do the farmers mostly have their own land to cultivate the crops of their own choice they have their own uh, own land whatever they wish to do they will do but in mizoram they have unique thing about what you know they perform certain kind of lottery for farming lottery quite uh, uh, means uh, amazing thing no lottery for farming because in mizoram there there actually happens lottery among the people to decide which family will get how much of the land and which land that means no not a single family owns their own land the, fa the uh, every year the families will be divided with a uh, specific land and that by the com community of that particular village okay they don't own their own uh, uh, their own lands for that uh, they are they are happening lotteries okay the uh, main crop actually you know kaisa hota hai matlab jaise ki chips banayenge na small small chips will be prepared is ek uh, chip mein hoga one tin likha hoga dusre chip mein two tin likha hoga third wale chip mein three tins likha hoga is tarah se and all the community people will be asked to join on a particular day and on that day all the people will come and join together on that particular meeting where all the whole village people will uh, uh, gather together and one after another they will pick up the chits and in the chits if it is if it will written as one tin they will have to be satisfied with one tin land only if it will be written as two tin they will have to be satisfied with two tins only now i will explain you what is actually tin one tin two tin three tin what is it so after the lottery is over suppose if one of one person has uh, got the cheat as cheat hota chote chote jo parchi hote hain one tin to usko matlab us chote se one tin wale land mein hi usko pura saal bhar kheti karna hai aur jisko two tin land mila hai one tin se thoda double hoga uska thoda bada hoga us land mein usko kheti karna hoga rice ka kheti karna hoga now what is one tin of land and two tin of land एक्चुअली एक टीन में जितना सीड होता है ना जितना भर के सीड होता है और जित, वो सीड जितना एरिया में आपका ग्रो करेगा उतना होता है वन टीन ऑफ लैंड सो वन टीन ऑफ लैंड इज एक्चुअली अ काइंड ऑफ यूनिट ऑफ मेजर मेजरमेंट ऑफ लैंड यूनिट ऑफ मेजरमेंट ऑफ लैंड जैसे हम लोग यहाँ पे हेक्टेयर एकर्स इस ऐसे मेजर करते हैं ना लेकिन आपका उस साइड में आप जाएंगे तो आपका जब लैंड डिवाइड करेंगे तो बोलेंगे आप एक टीन लो आप दो टीन लो एज पर देयर ओन चीट्स दे हैव चोजन तो उस टीन के हिसाब से मेजरमेंट करते हैं लैंड में लैंड को ठीक है तो वन टीन ऑफ लैंड मींस द लैंड ऑन विच वन टीन ऑफ सीड्स ग्रो एक लैंड में सिर्फ एक टीन ऑफ एक टीन भर के जितना सीड्स ग्रो करता है जितना सीड्स ग्रो करता है वही होता है वन टीन उससे ज्यादा नहीं ओके सो वेरी स्पेसिफिक सिस्टम नेक्स्ट इज जूम ओके वेरी वन एक तो हो गया लॉटरी फार्मिंग लॉटरी वाइल चूजिंग द लैंड एवरी ईयर सेकेंड इज जूम फार्मिंग यस इन द नॉर्थ स्टेट नॉर्थ ईस्टर्न स्टेट ऑफ इंडिया स्पेशली इन दिस दिस स्टेट मिजोरम स्टेट जूम फार्मिंग technique is quite common i we will see what is this zoom farming actually in this zoom farming the land land is left barren for some year kuch salon tak us zameen mein kuch bhi nahi ugate hain wahan log jate bhi nahi ugate bhi nahi hai 
तो क्या होगा आफ्टर फ्यू इयर्स वो पूरा लैंड जिसको अनडिस्टर्ब रखा है विच वॉज लेफ्ट अनडिस्टर्ब देर वेरियस टाइप्स ऑफ प्लांट्स ट्रीज विल ग्रो आप अगर उसको तीन साल तक एक जमीन को छोड़ देते हो कुछ भी नहीं उगाओगे तो वहां पर कितना अजीब अजीब तरह का पेड़ उग जाएगा है ना तो नथिंग इज ग्रोन इन इट डिस्टर्ब नहीं करते उस लैंड को द बैम्बो और द वीड्स दैट ग्रो आर पुल्ड आउट दो तीन साल के बाद या पांच साल के बाद क्या करते हैं उस जमीन में जाएंगे लोग वहां से फिर जितना भी अनवॉन्टेड प्लांट्स है बैम्बू है जितना भी जो जो चीज ग्रो किया है विश्व जी प्लीज डू नॉट रेज योर हैंड रिपीटेडली तो जितना भी अनवॉन्टेड प्लांट्स हो गया वीड यानी कि और वो जो भी जंगली प्लांट ग्रो किया गया सबको उखाड़ उखाड़ के मैंने एवरीथिंग विल पुल्ड आउट एंड दे आर देन कट एंड बर्न ओके जो भी अनवॉन्टेड प्लांट्स वर पुल्ड आउट ऑन दैट पर्टिकुलर लैंड इट विल बी कट एंड बर्न ऑन द सेम प्लेस जहां से उखाड़ा है वहीं पे उसको जलाएंगे and this ash makes the land fertile and then the field is slightly dug up and seeds are dropped on it uske baad jo jalaya hai kaat ke that that particular uh, burnt plant will turn into ash rock black black ash powder and that ash actually makes that land very very fertile you don't need to add cow dung or any chemical fertilizer and slowly slowly what happened the people the, the farmer there in the mizoram will dig the soil and will prepare the soil for sowing the seeds and then water and then whatever the procedure is there for cultivation and this is known as zoo farming hai na very interesting no first the land will be left barren for few years unwanted plants will grow after few years the plant will be cut and pulled out it will burnt the ashes are used as a manure fertilizer fertilizer and then it is dug and seeds are sown now i'm going to show you one video on this um just wait zoom farm neighboring neighboring states of mizoram neighboring states of mizoram manipur or maybe manipur then assam tripura ye teen jo hai na please remember neighboring states of mizoram are Tripura, sorry, uh, yeah, Tripura, Assam, and Manipur. Okay, so this was the video on Zoom farming. It is a very low cost, effective uh, farming, natural uh, in a natural way. Ah, chala gaya. In a very very natural way, the farming is being done with natural fertilizer and everything. Next, Cherau dance. Yes. most of you must be knowing about have seen also this cherau dance this is a special kind of dance like we have bihu in assam similarly cherau dance is performed in mizoram okay hum log jo rongali bihu hota hai na april ke month mein bahut naachte hai na bihu kuch log bihu dancers log that is a kind of uh, jaise wo bhi ek kind of festival hi hai hamare liye so it the this cherau dance in mizoram also is a mark to completion mark the completion of harvest okay jis se kheti kheti lagaya pak gaya kaat diya aur uske baad dance kiya khushi se na this a kind of like harvest type harvest type of uh, festival festive dance so in this dance people sit in pairs in front of each other holding bamboo sticks on the ground as the drum beats the bamboo sticks are beaten to the ground and dancers step in and out step in and out of the sticks and dance to the beats i'll now the whole chapter is based on forests in the on the very first day uh, we have discussed about that forests are responsible for uh, maintaining a balance in the ecosystem if you remember i use this word maintaining the balance in the ecosystem that means what ecosystem means what see around us there are so many living things non living things isn't it non living means air water sunlight all these things and also we have so many living things including us this living we need, we are living things but we need air water sunlight all these living things we need isn't it so around us living beings and non living things uh forms a kind of relation means living things are dependent upon non living things isn't it 
that is that that is what a kind of balance is being created on the earth and main uh, main thing is what you know forests are mainly responsible for creating this balance because if the forests are there there will be rainfall if the rainfall is there there will be water on earth and uh, forests are called as collective banks if you remember the first class i told you because for forests are the reserved area reserves which reserves which protects which holds which gives shelter abode to a large number of uh, beings okay living beings it can be a small form of organism which you cannot see to a largest form of organism including the wild animals and all birds isn't it everything not only the abode shelter it gives to many of the organisms animals but it also provides us a medicine because we know that there are so many herbal medicines we can get from the plants it also gives us timber wood for furniture then fuel for various purposes then eatables no khane ke khane ke ped pode se hame kitna kuch milta hai no doubt it it also gives us rubber paper honey many things we get from isn't it so forests that's why they are called as the collective banks forests are very much important without which our sustenance is not possible on earth now let us see what is actually kaha chala gaya what is a tribe 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 ka matlab hota hai janjati jo jangalon mein pahadon mein rehte hain na janjati log adivasi log tribe so a tribe is a social division in traditional society consisting of families linked by social economic religious and blood ties with a common culture dialect ye ha hum log dekho ek if you are planting one or two or three or more tree, trees around a house so that much leaf will not be sufficient for us For for the whole time, whole life time for us to get oxygen, but we need forests. If forests are there, collective amount of trees are there, leaves will be there. Then only we will be able to survive till our death. Otherwise, we are not going to get enough of oxygen, isn't it? बहुत जरूरी है, बहुत जरूरी है. और आपको ये चीज समझना बहुत जरूरी है, ठीक है? So 